Have you ever felt like you are just too much for God? Now I say that and that may sound a bit cheesy to you, but have you ever felt like you were just too much or too bad for God, too much for him to handle? I once talked with a friend who was struggling with this kind of thing. And my friend had grown up in the church and knew all sorts of things about Jesus and who he was. And he could tell you all about forgiveness and about how God loved him. And and he could tell you all sorts of truths about who God was and all of that. But my friend revealed to me something pretty important. That despite knowing in his head all of these truths about God and, and who he is, that deep down, deep down in his core, in the core of his being, he felt like he was too much for God to handle. See, growing up in the church, he was acutely aware of his sin. He was hyper aware, hyper sensitive to the, the sinful and evil desires that lay deep uh, down inside of his soul. And he was oh so keenly aware of every inkling uh, to do harm to, to someone else. And he was so aware of every thought that, that passed through his brain telling him that he should engage in a behavior that he knew he shouldn't do. And boy, this really bothered him. It really irked him. Because despite years and years and years and years of following Jesus, those things seemed like they never went away. And he started to, to wonder deep down if there was something that was wrong with him. He started to believe that there was something wrong with him. That he started to believe that, that he didn't look like the rest of those people in church. That he was dirty, nasty, uh, a sinner. While everyone else there was completely spotless and clean and had life together. Now I don't know where you stand today. I don't know where you are or what you are struggling with today. But if you feel like you're too much for God, know that you are not alone. You're not alone. Because the reality is that we are all sinners. Even those people who are at church that seem to have life together, they're sinners just like you and me. But friends, I don't I don't bring this up um, just to make us feel awful about ourselves or to, to drown ourselves in self-pity. I bring this up today uh, because amidst this reality that we are, are sinners, as a reality that is greater than our sin. And it is a reality that is brought to us, given to us by God's Son, Jesus. In the Gospel of, of Matthew, a book in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells his followers, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In other words, Blessed are those who recognize their moral failures. Blessed are the people who mess up. Blessed are the people with struggles. Blessed are the broken and the hurting and those in pain. Blessed are the sinners. Blessed are the sinners. Now that may sound a little odd, but friends, the reality is that Jesus loves and forgives sinners. That's right. Jesus loves sinners. He loves people just like you. People who don't have it together yet, who are struggling, waiting through life and the mess of life. Friends, Jesus chooses to love you, to forgive you.